Hey there, this tutorial is part of my Game Maker course on Udemy, the link is in the description. Hey there, in this lecture, we'll make our player shape. I'll start by creating a new project. I'll select drag and drop and call the project Space Shooter. Now first up, I need to import a sprite. So I'll create a sprite resource and call it as player. I'll click on import to import the player image. And now let me tell you about sprite origins. The origin is basically the point in a sprite where the object's x and y coordinates are. And the sprite rotates from that point. Right now it's set to top left but we need to make it middle center. This way the x and y coordinates will be at the sprite center and if we rotate it, it'll rotate from the center point. Now I'll create an object for it and call it O player. I'll assign the sprite. Now I'll add the create event. In this event, I'll add the assign variable action. I'll create a variable called move speed x and set it to 8. So this is the movement speed for the x axis only which controls the left and right movement. Now I'll click on the plus sign here to create another variable and name it move speed y. I'll set it to 5. This is the movement speed for the y axis only which controls the up and down movement. So as you can see, in this game we're gonna have different speeds for the horizontal and vertical movement. The player should be able to move left and right faster than they can move up and down. Now we need to set up the arrow key events. So first I'll add the key down left event. In the actions I'll search jump and add the jump to point action. To move left you subtract from x so I'll set x to relative and type minus move speed x. Now I'll add the key down right event. I'll add the jump to point action, set x to relative and type move speed x. So now the player ship can move left and right. Now I'll add the key down up event. I'll add the action, set y to relative and type minus move speed y. So this will move it up. I'll add the key down down event. I'll add the action, set y to relative and type move speed y. So now the ship can move up and down as well. Now I'll open the room. You can change the size of the room here if you want. I'm gonna keep it at the default size. So I'll place the player object in the room. And now I'll run the game. You can see that I'm able to move around and that I move faster horizontally and slower vertically. Now let's move on to the next lecture where we'll implement a room boundary.